If you've ever seen this pop up on your phone, this video is for you. One of the most popular ways the hackers try to get in your phone is through this calendar scam. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to get rid of these pop ups. So let's start off with iPhones, how to get rid of these pop ups. First thing you need to make sure when you're dealing with an iPhone is that your phone has the latest upgrade. As of today, um, when I'm recording this video, the latest iOS version is 14.42. So if you have an iPhone, make sure your phone is up to date. So these steps make sense to you because sometimes in certain iOS versions, there's different settings, different features. So these steps are specifically for the most recent iOS update. After you update your phone, open the calendar app. At the bottom of the screen, tap calendars. So once you click this calendars app, you might recognize a calendar in there that you do not recognize. It looks really suspicious. That calendar is the one that's causing you all your problems and all your issues. So once you find this calendar, you're gonna press that like I button with a circle around it, which pretty much just means more info. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down and then click delete calendar. So if you're in an iPhone model and you are not able to update your phone to the latest iOS version, you can also just go to your settings app, go to passwords and accounts, and then you're gonna see like an account subsection. And then you might see something that says other calendars, subscribe calendars, and you're gonna click that suspicious account and click delete account. Another way to keep these pop-ups from appearing again is to also just log on to iCloud.com. Whatever iCloud account that you're using on your iPhone currently, you're going to log in using that account into iCloud. So once you logged into iCloud.com, you're going to go to calendar, then you're going to go to preferences, and then you're going to find a section that's called invitations. And then you are going to put in an email address where all these spam invitations can go. So this is where it gets tricky because any spammer, any hacker can send you invites that end up on your calendar. So by putting in an email address that you can just send all these invites to, you're able to log on to that email and check out which invites you're getting, make sure they're actually legit before they go onto your calendar on your phone. This is just a place where you can just store all those spam invites. If you have an Android, you're probably using Google Calendar app. So to fix this issue, you are gonna log on to the Google Calendar website. So just to be clear, you're not gonna go to the app on your phone, you're actually gonna have to open up your laptop and go to the Google Calendar website. So once you log onto the website, you're gonna go to the gear in the upper right corner and you're gonna click settings. On the settings page, you're gonna scroll down until you see event settings. Then on the right panel, you're gonna find a section that says automatically add event invitations. And then there's gonna be a drop down menu and you're gonna press the one that says like, no, don't automatically add random event invitations to my calendar. Now to prevent Google Calendar from adding any events that appear in your Gmail, these are some additional steps to take. Go back to your settings and click events from Gmail. Then you're gonna unclick automatically add Gmail events to my calendar. And then you're gonna click okay. And hopefully now no more suspicious spammy events are added to your calendar. Some important things to remember, never click any links that are included in these events. So these spam events on your calendar is another form of phishing. Phishing is just a way to trick users into clicking something, into entering personal information, to take that information and to exploit people. And because a lot of people don't realize that their calendar can be used for spam and for hackers to try to get access to their information, a lot of people are very confused when they get these random calendar invites and they might click them and go to any links that the hacker includes in that event. Or they might download an application. They just don't realize how dangerous and scary these events can be in their calendar. So that's it. Those are all the tips and tricks I have today. I hope this figured out and solved your problem if you're dealing with a lot of pop-ups on your Google or Apple Calendar. I know it can be super annoying and just really bothersome. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below. You can also follow me and message me on Instagram. My Instagram is Kala. And yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful, amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.